You guys maybe want to watch some short advertisements for the Pixel 7, Pixel 7 Pro, and the Pixel Watch before they're meant to be made public. I think probably you do. Let's jump over here to Twitter. Huge shout out to Snoopy Tech because they are the ones who have uh, these videos. They've leaked them early, so we are going to take a moment and we're going to watch them. Now, the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro ones are very, very similar. We'll start with the standard Pixel 7, and then we'll do the 7 Pro and then the Pixel Watch. All right, so Pixel 7 Pro video. I'll let you hear the audio as well as we go. Let's check it out and then we'll talk with about With the Google it. Pixel 7, you give your videos a dramatic effect with cinematic blur. Easily edit photos with Magic Eraser. It magically erases distractions. Know the language with Live Translate. It works as you read, talk, or type. And you can stay out for up to 72 hours with Extreme Battery Saver. Do magic. Know the language. Stay out. With the Google Pixel 7. So a lot of that is stuff that we've kind of seen before to some degree, right? So the cinematic blur, that's something that some other devices have already had. Basically, it's portrait mode, but for video. And, you know, devices like the Z Fold has have this feature. I've never really liked the way it looks. I think it always looks a little weird and a little janky, but whatever. It's going to be on Pixel 7. Not a big shock there. Magic Eraser is something that we've definitely already had on the prior Pixel 6. And then there's other, you know... Devices have their versions of this as well as Samsung has a version. I prefer Retouch, an app in the App Store, uh, in the Play Store, I should say, that works really, really well for uh, that type of thing. Live Translate is a neat thing, though. You know, you'd be able to look at uh, some text there and translate it on the fly. But again, not necessarily anything new. Extreme Battery Saver was there last year as well. That is your Pixel 7. It is a very iterative, very, very iterative launch. Let's go back and let's go to the Pixel 7 Pro. And a lot of this is exactly the same. Google Pixel 7 Pro, you see tiny details in macro focus. Get close up quality with super res zoom. Easily edit photos with magic eraser. So let's talk about what wasn't repeated. So here's a first interesting bit here, macro focus. I'm assuming this is just their macro mode. Not exactly sure what the hardware changes have been between the 7 Pro and the 6 Pro to enable this on the 7 Pro, but I'm excited about this. Simply being able to focus at a closer distance to get a macro photo is something I'm pretty happy to see. I use the Pro mode on some other phones to kind of mimic having a macro mode, so this will be definitely pretty cool for me to see. Then, of course, the Super Res Zoom. We do now have a 5X telephoto lens on the Pixel 7 Pro instead of a 4 from last year. So expect them to push that pretty heavily like we've talked about in a prior video though. 1X is gonna be fine, 2X is digital, 3X is digital, 4X is digital, 4.9X is digital. Until you hit 5X, that is just a digital punch in on that standard 50 megapixel primary sensor. How well is that going to work? Is there super res zoom tech Going to make that 4.9x zoom look really good before we hit that 5x. That's going to be interesting to see as well. But now last but not least, we have a similar thing here for the Pixel Watch. Let's check it out. And honestly, there's nothing really there that's all that surprising. It's the Pixel Watch. You've got your crown there on the side. You know what this thing looks like. And as we go through three different finishes, which we've talked about, you've got your heart rate tracking, of course, active zone, minutes, navigation, uh, Google Pay is going to be there. All these things are pretty standard features. Taking calls from your watch, your Google Assistant there on your watch, health by Fitbit. It's got the Fitbit stuff going on. I think you're actually maybe going to use the Fitbit app to uh, work uh, in conjunction with this watch. You can see a couple of the different finishes there, a gray and a black. 
I should also point out from 9 to 5 Google that there was some other marketing stuff that came out that did reveal things like up to 24 hours of battery life. They're not even pushing for more than 24 hours. Evidently, up to is good enough. Uh, Corning Gorilla Glass there. Nothing too surprising on the rest of this one. All devices are perfectly synchronized. Control your home. Pixel Buds. Pixel Watch using Find My. And then, of course, there's a bit more on the Fitbit integration there. Track activity time steps, blah, 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 blah. Now, of course, it is very likely that there are some other little hidden things here and there. Just like when you see a Pixel 6 commercial on your television, there's a ton of stuff that they just don't mention. It's a very quick commercial, and that's kind of what these are meant to be. So don't expect that this is all it's going to be. For instance, we're pretty sure the face unlock is coming to the Pixel 7, at least the 7 Pro, maybe both of them. No mention of that in there. So there are definitely some other features that will be snuck in there that you did not just now see uh, in those videos. Of course, the full announcement, the full date where we're going to get to see these things, I believe, yes, is uh, Thursday, October 6th at 10 a.m. Eastern. I will be live streaming that event, so make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that coverage. Of course, I will also be reviewing, I uh, believe, the Pixel 7 Pro when that is available as well. So don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.